guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is really late, but then again, most of my videos are always late, so it doesn't matter. Today, I'm going to be doing yet another experiment video, which I'm so excited about. Basically, in March, I challenged myself with reading 66 pages every day for the entire month. I got this idea from Books and Lala, so all credit goes to her. My reading is all over the place. Some days I read, some days I don't, some days I read barely anything, and then some days I read so much. And so I wanted to see if I could create a habit of reading a certain amount of pages every day and then see how that goes. And the way that I got the number 66, originally I was going to take the number of pages that I read in 2019 and then divide it by 360. 65 and get the average of how many pages I read a day and then read that but it ended up being something like 40 but last year there was months where I didn't read barely anything and my reading has changed since last year and I didn't think that 40 was a good indicator of how much I read so I took the number of pages that I read in February which was 1910 and then divided it by 29 because that's how many days were in February and it was like 66 points Blah, 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 blah. I just rounded it up to 66. So, yes. I vlogged every day in March with my reading. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, it's the 1st of March, meaning it's officially the start of this, like, little experiment kind of video. I don't know. It's 8 p.m. Me and my mum did some stuff during the day, and I'm finally getting around to reading. So, I had to pick a book to read 66 pages of. So I decided to go with The Poet X just because like it's written in verse and it'll be quick and like easy to read and stuff even though I could probably get through this in like two days but like dividing it by 66 it's gonna be like five days so that's kind of annoying but yes I'm going to start it because it's written in verse like the chapters or like the poems are just like a couple pages so no matter where I stop like I'm more than likely gonna stop like at a like chapter break or like a page break so I'm really happy with that so I'm just gonna read it. It's a while later, I had dinner and I finished the 66 pages of The Poet X. I really wanted to listen to this with the audiobook because I've heard that the audiobook of The Poet X is amazing, but it's not available here in Australia, which is so annoying. So I thought I wasn't going to like it as much just reading it on its own because I'm not really used to reading like in verse and like poetry and stuff, but I am really liking it. The writing is amazing. Like there are so so many like things that I you could quote with this like it's just amazing and I'm really loving it I really want to read more but I know that I can't because I have to read 66 pages uh, I don't know what to say so I'll talk to you tomorrow bye so it's the next day doing this has made me realize that you guys are gonna find out how freaking lazy I am because I'm not studying I don't have a job I do have a job but I haven't had my first shift yet and I just sit at home and I do nothing yesterday went absolutely perfectly and I was going to continue the poet x but I just realized that my library books are due on the 5th of March and that includes the subtle art of not giving a fuck by a Mark Manson which I wanted to read in March but I can't renew it because someone has put it on hold and so I can't renew it so I have to read 66 pages of this and then I'll just go back to the poet x once I finish it I've divided it by 66 and it exactly is three days plus an extra day with like a little bit of reading so I can definitely smash out 66 pages today tomorrow Wednesday and then take it back on Thursday after reading the last bit so I don't know my luck like that's literally perfect but yes, I am really excited to read this. I've never read a self-help book before So I'm hoping it's good and plus like my mental health has been fucked. So I think this might help me Maybe so I'm just gonna read the 66 pages Hello, baby Hello, baby Hello so I just finished the 66 pages, but I'm also listening to the audiobook on Scribd and I've had to stop mid-chapter in the audiobook, which is kind of annoying. I never really stop mid-chapter because I always listen to audiobooks while I read the physical book. And so I always like to finish off at like a page break or a chapter. And so the 66th page 
is made a chapter. So that's kind of annoying, but I digress. But yes, I'm really enjoying this, so that's all. So this is the first time that reading the 66 pages is going to be difficult, and it's only the third day. Basically, me and my mum went to Melbourne. What was that? like all day and I didn't get home until like 11 at night and it's now 1 47 and I am exhausted and normally in this situation I would go straight to bed because I'm exhausted but I have to read 66 pages so I'm gonna go do that but I'm just so exhausted and I know that I'm not gonna retain anything so yes I'm just gonna go read so the audiobook on Scribd it actually is really weird because it completely missed a section in the chapter and then like added some parts so I had to like stop listening to the audiobook and then read it physically and then it's just weird I don't know maybe I don't have like the right copy of this or the audiobook like added stuff and it's different but I don't know but to the entire time I was reading that I just kept on nearly dozing off I am so exhausted. So I'm gonna go to bed. See you tomorrow. Once again, I've been out all day. I've been filming all day. I've been editing all day. And it's now 3.30 and I just wanted to go to bed. But I have to read the 66 pages. And I feel like it's getting towards that this video is gonna put me in a slump because I'm forcing myself to read, which isn't what I wanted to do. <sighs> this is annoying. It's only like the fourth day. Let me check the calendar. Okay, technically it's the fifth because it's like 3 a.m. But if you watch any of my vlogs, you know technically the fourth day. And I just want to give up already. What is wrong with me? I mean, I have an appointment tomorrow and I don't have anything clean. So I'm going to have to wash stuff and then like wait for it to dry, which is like an hour, which will be enough time for me to read the pages. But I'm just exhausted. I don't want to do it. I'm going to go read the pages. I find it so ironic that in The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, it's talking about motivation and it gave the example of a novelist who wrote 70 novels and everyone asked him how he did it and he wrote 200 crappy words per day and then that motivated him to write even more words per day. I just find it funny that I'm reading that while I'm reading 66 pages a day for this experiment about like motivation for reading. I don't know. I just found that funny. I just finished the 66 pages and I literally have 10 more pages left of this, but I have to read it tomorrow. I don't know. With this challenge, is it okay to read more than 66 pages or do you have to read just 66 pages? I don't know, but I'm just going to leave it and then just read it tomorrow before my appointment because I need to go to an appointment tomorrow and then go to the library to drop off the books and stuff like that. So, yes, but it's now like 5 a.m. and I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go to bed. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow. So I had a missed call when I woke up and it was from the people at the appointment and it got cancelled. So it's getting changed to next week, but I still have to go to the library today. So I am going to quickly finish the subtle art of not giving a fuck and then we'll continue on with probably the Poet X again because that was the first one I was reading and I was really liking it and I was sad that I had to stop. So we'll probably read that. I just finished the 10 or so pages wait i'm gonna count them because i don't know okay no it's 11 of the subtle art of not gonna give the the subtle art of not giving a fuck and it was it was all right um i don't know my rating right now i don't know i think i'm gonna rate it three stars 3.5 i'm not sure but first book done so now let's go to the library and then read some pages of the poet x i don't know if i'm should i take you with me is this like a vlog or am I just updating about reading? Is this a vlog or am I updating about reading? I, prob I probably won't. I probably, I might. Uh, I won't. I might. I won't. I might. So I didn't end up taking you and I look like a drowned rat, but I am now home. It's 3.20, I'm pretty sure. But I didn't end up vlogging. I just went to the library, got some lunch, and then came home 
and then because it's really rainy and muggy outside I felt really gross so I had a shower that's how my hands went but I just wanted to show you the books that I borrowed because I had them on hold and I picked them up so firstly Saga volume 7 because lately I've been reading one volume of Saga every month and there's nine volumes so far so I want to read this in the month which I think it's like it doesn't have page numbers so I'm gonna have to count them which sucks to get to 66 but I do want to read this this month and then a book I want to read next month is Orange the Complete Collection volume one there's two volumes of this and it's a manga series that I've been wanting to read for a while because I've heard a lot of things about it on booktube I can't remember what it's about I think it's about like someone like a girl who receives a letter from herself 10 years in the future and it's like a suicide letter or something like that I don't know entirely what it's about but I do want to read this next month I'm not gonna read it this month because I'm not reading 66 pages of this and taking all month to read it so I need to do the dishes and then edit my video but I think I'm gonna read the poet X because I just I'm in the mood to read and I just want to sit down it's raining outside and it's just cozy and nice so I want to get my 66 pages done now so that later on I don't stay up I'll probably stay up editing or something like that but I just don't want to like be reading really late like the past two days so I'm gonna go read this and then I don't know if I'm gonna check back I might just check back tomorrow we'll see so I finished the 55 pages so I've read 66 pages today so now for the rest of the day I'm just gonna edit and do the dishes so I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when I read the other 66 pages like always so talk to you then so it's now nine o'clock I've just spent all day setting up my new video that's gonna be going up and just relaxing and I haven't thought about reading all day which is really good and so now I'm gonna be continuing on with the Poet X and reading the 66 pages which it always takes me like half an hour barely which is really good so I'm just speeding through it and yes I left off at a really bad time and so I'm really excited to continue on so I'll talk to you when I finish the 66 pages so it's a couple of hours later I had dinner and I finished the 66 pages I don't know what it is but whenever I play like instrumental in the background I get so invested in the book and it makes me like read faster and get really lost in the book so I got so lost in this and I got distracted and I read one page extra I'm not gonna beat myself up for it it's one page it doesn't matter I'm still reading the 66 pages but I'm so in love with this and I want to read more I want to read it faster than just 66 pages <laughs> and it's making me go insane but anyway I'm gonna go to bed I'm really tired so I'll talk to you all tomorrow so it's now the next day day seven I did some filming as you can see by my crusty ass makeup it's now like 2 a.m I'm pretty sure I think it is now where I stopped reading from yesterday and where I stopped today was like perfect because something happened and it ended up making me cry and then it stopped at the perfect time and so it was a really natural place to stop and so I'm really satisfied with what I read today and I don't know I'm just in love with this so much but I'm nearly done and I am really excited to continue on with this I think it's gonna be a new fate that's all so I finished the 66 pages and and all I want to do is continue because I have like, what page am I up to? 320, and then how many pages are left? Like 30 pages left and all I want to do is finish it because it's getting really emotional and shit's happening and I just want to finish it but I can't because I'm only reading 66 pages a day and so I'm really annoyed so I'll just suffer and then read the last few pages tomorrow. Whatever. So I did quite a bit today. I went to a new park that opened up in my town and then we got some lunch and some ice cream and walked by the lake, which was pretty cool. And then while I was there, I had script on my phone, which had the ebook of The Poet X. So I ended up finishing it while I was out and I just laid in the sun and finished it. And of course, this is a new favorite. I rated it five out of five stars. It was amazing. I feel like where I stopped yesterday though, if I wasn't doing this video, I would have read the rest 
rest of the book but because of where I stopped it was a good natural time to stop I'm pretty sure but if I read that 30 or so pages as well as the 66 yesterday I feel like the ending would have had a better impact on me but I was just chill with it and it just ended up finishing it and I didn't really feel anything so that was a bit of a bummer I really want to get the audiobook now I just why isn't it available in Australia it's annoying it's like 12 p.m right now and I need to start another book because that was like 30 or so pages so I have like 28 pages I think to read so my next read is going to be Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie I've heard from Meg with Books that the audiobook of Murder on the Orient Express which is on Scribd is amazing so I'm going to listen to that and I've divided it into the pages because I just like being organized and I should finish it not including today in four days and then like 15 to 20 pages oh don't finish it of another book so I'm going to read this now okay so we're on day 10 and I had a delivery come in the mail so I'm gonna be opening it for you guys because I thought it'd be fun there we go Okay, so the first book I got was Of Curses and Kisses by Sandhya Menon. This was one of my most anticipated books of this year. This is the Bookaholics pick for March. It was originally going to be for February, but it came out in the middle of February, so we went, needed more time to read it. So I got this, and I'm so excited. I'm probably going to read this after Murder on the Orient Express. It's 360 pages, which is not bad at all. And then the last book, because I only got two books, is... <laughs> I'm thinking, do I do it? Because I really want to read this. I was like, I'm going to leave it until next month because it's a graphic novel. And so I'm just going to be reading 66 pages and it's going to take me five minutes and I'm going to want to read more. But I'm thinking maybe today I scrap the 66 and I just read <laughs> because I could read this in like two hours tops and I really want to read it. Oh. Do I do it? It's still the 66, but it's just like... Oh, sorry. I got a bit excited and I read the whole book. Don't think it matters. I'm gonna say fuck it. I'm gonna read this all today. I'm gonna read it. I don't care. I don't care. If it was less than 66, then I'd be failing. But if I read more than 66, it's technically not failing. Classics are cool and shit. But I want to read Heartstopper. I'm reading Heartstopper in a day. I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm excited. I'm reading Heartstopper and I'm literally dying because it's having more references to Radio Silence. One of the characters, she's reading Radio Silence and it's literally the cover that I have. And so I'm like, ah! And then Alad was featured in the second one and <laughs> he mentions his relationship with Daniel. And I'm like, ah! I love the Ozman universe. I just... <sighs> I'm loving it so far. I cried. I'm crying. I love this. Reason number 679 of why I love this book. So it's now like five o'clock and I read this in one sitting without stopping. I just read it. And are we surprised that I loved it? Are we surprised? I literally have no regrets about screwing 66 pages and reading this in one sitting. But I will be continuing as normal with the 66 pages every day. This was just a one-off because your boy was a bit excited. We did it. 66 pages today. So I'll see you all tomorrow with our regular 66 pages. So it's day 11. It's now 1 a.m. I've been doing jack -all, all day as normal. But today I'm going to be going back on track and reading Murder on the Orient Express. I just realized that on Goodreads, I have put down that I have read 99 books and so Murder on the Orient Express will end up being my 100th. And I know that some people on Booktube can read 100 books in a year, but for me, who just got into reading in like 2018, the fact that I am going to read my 100th book, I'm so proud of myself because I know that there are so many people out there who don't read a hundred books in their lifetime and I hope that this book is worth being the hundredth spot. On Monday my reading went really well with Meta on the Orient Express. It's kind of slow so far but I'm enjoying it so yes I'm going to read the 66 pages. I'll talk to you all later. So I went to go make Milo and I realized there's no milk. I'm just gonna go cry. I'm just gonna have some water. So yes. Just finished the 66 pages and
and it's really good so far. It's now starting to pick up and the murders have started happening. I am really excited to read the rest of it tomorrow and then for the next couple of days, so I'll talk to you all tomorrow. So it's now day 12 and I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday but there was a book signing that I thought I wasn't going to be able to go to because I'm too poor and my dad gave me some money so I'm going to go off and do that. It's going to be my first book launch kind of book signing thing ever and I've gone on my own and I'm kind of nervous but I'm really excited so let's go. So I walk to the bus stop and I wait at the bus stop that's on one side and then the bus that's going the other way goes past as I arrive there and then I realise oh shit I'm to catch that bus try to run after it and then it leaves without me so now I have to wait 15 minutes for the next bus and I'm really annoyed because my phone is nearly gonna die well it's not nearly gonna die it's on 50% and I know that that won't last so I've got to save my battery for my phone and I have nothing to do waiting 15 minutes and I'm really annoyed but that's me complaining I'm gonna wait for the bus and then we'll go to the book launch so I'll see you then So I'm back home now. It's like midnight, I think. I'm so happy I went to the book launch. It was my first ever book launch and it was really fun. I just need to gain more confidence because I didn't really talk to anyone. I was just like kind of on my own. But I think next time I'll talk to people and I'm pretty sure there's another book launch on the 26th, which is for The Vanishing Deep by Astrid Schultz, the same author of Four Dead Queens. And so I really want to go to that because I just want to. So it's now my second signed book. I'm just really tired now, but I have to read 66 pages as normal so I'm gonna do that and we had milk tonight so I made myself a Milo which is what I wanted to do yesterday so I'm really happy so I'm gonna go and read I don't think I'm gonna update afterwards because I'm just gonna be exhausted so I'll talk to you all tomorrow it's day 13 and if I'm being really honest I don't feel like reading I read the 66 pages perfectly yesterday which was good and then today I filmed my plan with me for my March reading journal which reading journal Journal videos take me so long to film yet so quick to edit and so I'm just really tired from that and then I've been a bit anxious because of the coronavirus because there's a lot of stuff going on in Australia with it Tom Hanks is in Australia with coronavirus and everyone's getting scared that we might have to have a lockdown and so me and my family have been accumulating groceries to last us a couple of weeks if we have to stay inside because of the coronavirus and it's pretty scary and it feels like the stuff of the apocalypse and so I've been really anxious because my biggest fear in the world is the end of the world and like any like natural things like natural disasters the bushfires in Australia made me anxious and this is making me anxious so I'm just like I'm not in the mood to read I just want to relax but I guess reading is relaxing as well so I don't know but we're going to be continuing on with Murder on the Orient Express and this is the last full day of reading the 66 pages and then tomorrow I'll read a bit of this and finish it and then something else so that's pretty exciting that I've nearly finished my fourth book already and it's like halfway through the month I feel like six to eight books is normal for me in a month so I'm really happy that it's end up working out but I mean it's like my average reading from last month so of course it's gonna be my average but yes if you can see that that's my bookshelf that I need to set up at some point I'm thinking next weekend but anyway I'm getting distracted I have ADD but yes I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna have another Milo because Milo's are great so push through it's for the point of this video got to keep on reading every day so i'm gonna go do that it's day 14 and it's like 5 a.m so technically it's day 15 but i'm just saying it's day 14 my sleeping pattern has become fucked but i'm now finally getting around to finishing murder on the orient express and then going on to reading 20 pages of of curses and kisses i've decided that i'm gonna read this next because i'm reading this for the bookaholics book club so yep so i'm gonna finish this but 
but there is a live show at 6am for the Hunger Games read along which is why I'm staying up because there's no point in me like going back to bed if I go to bed at like 2, 3 there's no point so I'm gonna read join the live show and then read some of, of Curses and Kisses and hopefully I don't wake up really late tomorrow but whatever so I'll talk to y'all later yesterday I went fine so yeah it's the same thing every day but um I just finished Murder on the Orient Express and I am that went in a direction that I did not expect and I don't know how to feel I feel like it's one that I'd have to reread because I feel like there's a lot of stuff like clues in it and it would be good to unpack I don't oh I don't know how to feel about this um okay it is literally one minute to 6 a.m which is the hunger games live show so i perfectly finished this on time for the live show so i'm gonna go do the live show and i'm gonna read the 20 pages i'm probably not gonna update it because i'm just so exhausted and it's really late and i don't want to keep disturbing my family so i'll talk to y'all tomorrow bye it's official on the 14th of March, I officially failed this experiment. I had such good intentions. I don't know if it's the situation going on right now, the book that I'm currently reading, or if it's Pokena Las Dos. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> It's not that I don't like the book, it's that I can't be bothered and I've kind of given up on this video. I'm going insane.